earwax. That's the level of openness that this channel sometimes has. The bodily stuff like that I feel like happens more on accident than on purpose. Anyway, this channel is supposed to be like, like I'm really, I really try to push the bounds of openness. It has occurred to me that I'm actually not um, necessarily, the, necessarily the most naturally open person. I've realized that there, are, that like, if you're if you're talking to me person to person, there's stuff that I'm gonna that I might, like I I get I guess. I guess I, I can realize in this moment, like, there's a desi- there might be a desire to be open, but I have trouble being open. Um, like, it doesn't come, like, naturally, per se. So, yeah, maybe the desire is there, perhaps, maybe. And if so, that's, like, on a YouTube channel, I can push on that. But in reality, like, there's people that, being open comes more naturally too. Um, I guess it doesn't even. I guess it doesn't necessarily mean that I'll be perfect, um, because I've noticed that, like, for example, um, something that I've that I keep pushing on or running into is like the uh, the idea of like child attraction or like that kind of feeling, and. I've noticed recently in like true heartfeltization where I'm supposed to push as much as like I'm not I'm not like I'm just supposed to be like it's supposed to be a high level. It's not supposed to be like an obsessive weird thing where like I feel like I have to say everything that's on my mind, but I'm supposed to like push um, or just like just not be filtered or I guess something like like it's supposed to really flow on that and. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like God was blocking me on that because I like couldn't, it was like there's a wall or there's a block in that and my being is different than your being. So I imagine someone could hear that and be like, what do you mean? Like, if you want to say something, say it. Or if like you may, that may not compute to you, but like, um, but Hey, you know what else doesn't compute to people? People being depressed or suicidal or people being LGBTQ or people being or even people dealing with race stuff, although that's not necessarily an inner feeling thing, at least in one sense of looking at it. But there's things that people feel that other people are like, what are you talking about? Like, how could you ever try to kill yourself or how what do you mean you're gay? This can be corrected or whatever, whatever, whatever. So. We don't always understand what the other person is feeling. But anyway, like, yeah. Um, So I may not be perfect. Like I said, with that, like, the idea of child attraction or, like, just thinking about that or contemplating that or navigating or being open on wonderings or experiences on that side of myself, um, there's more that... I should that I feel like I should have said, but I wasn't able to push past that wall, and I feel like that was God blocking that. Um, um, but yeah, this channel is supposed to be ridiculously open. You don't have to like me. Um, you could dislike me, you can like me. Most people in the Fargo Moorhead area, North Dakota, Minnesota, that are that know me, like me for dancing or for personality or for being silly. This can just be data. Also, the LGBTQ community may not also may have issue with me from a post from 2017. I don't I don't know what they say, but at least there could be something with that. Um, but let me just, let me be data for you, if nothing else, that someone is trying to be this open, that, like, there's a 1,840-something videos at this point. Um, 
If you have any questions on the video, feel free to ask. Um, I guess if you, I guess if you want to, want me to do a video on something, you can, at, you I maybe you can ask. I don't know. I usually I usually don't do reply. I usually do stuff off of my own heart. I don't know. Um, I also started a a page this year called Jesusis. Um, and that's kind of a, there's different things that go into that, but that is a play, it's a Facebook page, and not that I have, I mean, I did, I was able to do a free ad for it, so there were people that, like, liked one of the posts for that or whatever, but that was off of free advertising, but um, there's something really special or powerful that could happen with that if I had people that were willing to jump onto that. So yeah. So many things that different people feel in this world and we put faces on and there's strength in putting on a face. Like, there can be something to that. If it's, like, a false face, then... But if it's, like, a, like if you have a face that's, like, you've put together the best of yourself and it truly represents you, I get, a face can actually be a good thing. It can be, like, the most, like, concentrated power of who you are instead of, like, all the negative, positive, stray aspects of yourself. Like, the concentrated you... That can, that's what a face can be, rather than a false face, which is maybe what some people do. Have a focus face. Um, yeah, like, even making this third version of a channel trailer is maybe, like, maybe is even, can, is or can be inspiring for me because, like, we trying to be open. Like. Yo. So. God bless. And. And I would, I would hope that the more you listen to videos and the more you hear my heart, the more you understand, like, the truth of me or who I am. And if something doesn't make sense, you can ask or, you know. But I'm about to go watch E.T. It's been $1 movies at the, at the theaters, but... For some reason, it's five dollars today, so I don't know if they're not doing one dollar movies anymore, one dollar old school movies on Sundays anymore. But.